Hello everyone, it's me Ilian from DM Trading Bulgaria and today I would like to make uh, my weekly recap. Now in this video we are going to look back at the trading plan I shared with you last week, uh, what was the idea behind it, how it developed so far, if we had any opportunities to enter, uh, of course what happened with our trades and uh, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, if you had any opportunities and uh, which were not shared by me, I mean, I couldn't take them. And of course, we are going to talk a little bit about uh, the future price movements. So, let's get started. First, what you see on the screen now is the Great British Pound US Dollar uh, trading plan. This is the H1 chart uh, and the plan was published on TradingView on September 24th. As you can see, um, just when the plan was published, the price was here. After a very strong drop down, uh, it made a correction and reached this previous H4 resistance area. Uh, you can see how the price reacted uh, here from that area. And of course, and of course, uh, this uh, <coughs> consolidation here, which uh, formed it. So my expectations were from here uh, to see a drop in the price. So I was going short on the GBP USD. Uh, and this is the second H4 resistance uh, and also the previous top. Uh, this area was uh, placed there in case the price breaks this H4 resistance. So uh, I was going to either look for a buy position between those two zones or I was going to wait for the price to reach back to this previous top and from there to drop down. Now, uh, you can see that we have also an H4 support area here. Uh, this was our main target. Uh, you can see how the price reacted from it before. And of course we have those H4 top 1 and top 2 levels, uh, which are basically uh, you can see some, they, they are levels of support or resistance. You can see that this uh, H4 top one was actually the previous top before the last top, uh, which was broken. And uh, this top was a very old top here, but you can see how price reacted from that level a uh, few two times. So it was worth watching it. Uh, now let's see what happened on this plan. Uh, you can see short after I posted the plan, uh, the price started going down, then we had a wave up, we had a consolidation right here between this H4 resistance and this uh, top. And after that, we saw a huge drop in price going all the way to the H4 support, even below it. Now, uh, let's open the chart, the live chart itself and talk a little bit uh, what could have been done. You can see this triangle shows where the plan was published. Uh, a little bit later here, we took a position. Unfortunately, our stop loss was hit by a spike uh, somewhere here. So uh, we lost on this one and uh, I couldn't share with you another position by the end of the week, but uh, Obviously, there were some good spots. Now, we are going to talk a little bit about them. This was, uh, loss was pretty small, so uh, we are going to cover it with the next positions we take. Uh, first thing first, you can see that uh, this square formation, or the consolidation area, can be marked with a re rectangle right here. And the bottom of this rectangle aligns with this uh, top. So, at this point here, uh, the first spot you could have entered was on this candle. Uh, you can see how the price reacted after that. Although it retraced back here, it couldn't uh, enter back inside of this um, rectangle and it uh, continued down. Again, if we use the same technique, here we had a so small consolidation and another opportunity on the H1 to enter. Uh, after that, uh, here probably we had some news. Uh, those are very strong reactions. Uh, and after that, again, a small square with another possibility to short. 
So those are three possible entry points. Again, uh, using this technique, if you're using some other technique, there could have been more. For example, you could have entered after this correction was finished on the spinning top, uh, so on this candle here. Uh, or uh, let's see what else, what else. After this correction here, you could have entered again because it failed to actually break uh, this, uh, uh, this bottom and go above it. Uh, I can see a few more spots on different techniques uh, which you might be using. Uh, probably on the lower time frames we uh, have even more entry points. So uh, this was a good wave down. Uh, you could have uh, taken some good profits here. So I hope you managed to take advantage of that uh, trading plan, although I couldn't. Uh, I'm, I will be focusing more on my next uh, trading plans. I already shared with you a trading plan this week on the Canadian dollar Japanese yen and I also shared the live signal based on it. I just want to say a few words here regarding the future predictions of the price movement. You can see here uh, how the price behaved so far. It made a bottom right there after which it made another one but a very uh, very small so and uh, we saw a huge uh, jump into price right here so my expectations here are either a new uptrend will begin so if we see a break of this h4 support which now have turned to an h4 resistance uh, i expect for the price to reach this pre this top here this level uh, then we will most likely see a correction down back to this uh, H4 level which will turn again into a support and then a new move up. So this is one of the possible scenarios. Of course uh, there is the chance for us uh, to see kind of a double top here and for the price to remain below the broken H4 support. So uh, there is a huge chance we'll see a further drop from here back to here at least uh, maybe if we if we stay in a range for quite a while or further down um, in both scenarios i will be looking to uh, open a trade uh, there are a few uh, chances either i'll look for a sell trade here depending on the price action or if we see a break here i'll wait for uh, the uptrend wave to finish somewhere here uh, then maybe I'll look for a short position uh, up to here somewhere and then I'll look for another buy position if uh, the price remains above the H4 zone. Those are my future predictions. Uh, this is the trading plan. We keep following it. There, there are some good possibilities still left. Uh, also check out my new trading plan where I already posted the live signal. If you missed it, check it out on Twitter or our Telegram channel. I uh, will try to uh, maximize our profits there and also here. Thank you very much for the attention. Uh, if you have any questions, you can always contact me through our social media profiles or you can uh, write to our uh, company email. And uh, our team wishes you, although there are just uh, two days left until the end of the week, a profitable two days and uh, as most importantly, a great weekend and we'll see you again next week.